Hey guys, so I wanted to talk through a blast game while playing it. It's probably gonna be a little hard to do since uh kinda hard to cover everything that's going on while I'm playing. Like I don't know if you watch any of like Phalange's videos when he does critique. I'm kinda thinking of more like a live version of that, but I can't, you know, rewind it and stuff like you can. So uh we spawn on the opposite side on this map. Uh, that's actually really bad. I don't wanna peek that guy. I'm actually gonna run the SC 14 c this map. So, because this map's fairly close range, unless you're, like, out here. Although, it's been quite a while since I've really used this gun. I don't use it that often. This guy's shield should break. That guy is just trying to shoot me, apparently. I didn't see him pull out a pulse can or anything, so I'm not too scared of him. Still trying to hide behind this cover. Making people, making sure uh, most people can't get a good shot on me. But it looks like they're spawning on the opposite side now. They're spawning in this back area over here. It's a pretty easy pulse cam to kill there. So I'm kind of wasting my imploder by throwing it over there. But uh, I really just don't feel like pulling them to it. And there's two power ups like right here. Actually, I can see this guy on the map, which is nice. I heard a voice when I killed that guy, but I don't really have any idea where he's at. Now somebody's behind me again. That's probably not actually going to do anything. More than likely he's outside. It looks like an enemy one. Even if it isn't, I don't want to deal with it. But uh, when you got your pulse cannon out, one tip is to always make sure you're charging it. So let's shoot this guy. There's still, I think, another guy somewhere. I don't know where he is, but they're spawning on this side now. It's actually a really risky move jumping into them, especially when I don't know how many there are. But luckily these guys uh, are not really paying that much attention. They didn't even hear me uh, jetpack beside them, so uh, I guess it was kind of safe there. Typically you wouldn't want to do that though. So uh, now that this spawn's been cleared out, they're going to spawn on the other side of the map again. Because if you kind of look at the map, you can tell where your teammates all are. And since we're all grouped up over here, they're going to basically just spawn on the opposite side. They're going to spawn like back there. Uh, they're actually kind of everywhere at the moment. So being in the middle is actually really unsafe right now. Let's, uh, we're going to chase this guy down. Get us a little bit of a better position to uh, engage people. Like this cover down here is not the best when there's somebody up there. But luckily, uh, he didn't take us out. He has a slight height advantage there. Height is definitely uh, important. Because he can shoot down on my head and I can't really see him. But one thing that's really important in this game is corner peeking, like I'm doing right now. So like, you just peek, shoot somebody, hide back behind cover. If I get hit, take any damage or whatever, you know, I can just back off, heal back up, especially with survival strength. They don't really have that option because they were just kind of just camping out in this hallway. And it's not what you want to do. That's for sure. So we're just kind of uh, start stepping around, see uh, if there's anybody around the corner. Uh, that's one reason you want to always play in third person because like I can sit here and look like completely around this corner. He might be shooting me for some stupid reason. Oh, fell down. That's right, there's somebody over there. I actually was not paying attention. I think I just walked out in front of me. I'm pretty sure there is a guy on this corner, because uh, we saw Blaster file the Fire come down. This actually might be risky in case there's somebody behind me. But uh, luckily, there is not. This door doesn't open. You actually have to go all the way around. So that was, I guess, decently safe. I'm not quite sure what happened there. I guess I was moving and my shot went a little wonky. But you'll notice there, like, I was focusing on the guy in front of me, but when that guy jumped over me, I decided to turn around and engage him first, because that guy in front of me ran for cover inside, and that guy was probably going to attack me. So, prioritized him. He still killed me, though, since he was running, like, a shotgun or something. I actually didn't even notice what he was using. And it looks like they're spawning on the side with me now. So, not much point in going over there with my teammates. I'm just gonna stay over here. Proxy went off. Definitely a clue there that somebody's nearby. 
I figured he was up here with me, but he's actually down below. This guy is at a really big disadvantage. It's, uh, he has basically no cover in there. And somebody's gonna come out of the store, either the top or the bottom. Yeah, it was the top. Just using radar as a context clue. The more you play the game, the more you kind of learn the maps. So you have a pretty good indication of where people are based on the map. Like you'll know like, in your mind where they are exactly. Like there's a guy in this cargo room right now. He actually just got taken out. So there's a guy there. There could actually be a guy. Oh, I got two kills there, that. I like that. Now they're spawning outside. It's always risky to jump in like this. If you're using like disruption or something really overpowered, it's not quite as bad. Because then you can disrupt and then uh, jump all around like a maniac, roll around like a maniac. But uh, in this case, it was alright. It was just that one guy. Unfortunately, this game's really not the most balanced. You kind of see just my teammates are running around like hound dogs trying to find the enemy. Like, look at all of them just filter in there trying to go after him. So I'm actually gonna go like these guys that are spawning over right here. I'm not sure what happened to this guy. Yeah, I don't even know what happened to that guy. Uh, it looks like actually most of the enemy team left, so not gonna be the best video for uh, talking about really strategy or anything, I suppose, but, uh, I'll have to upload it anyway, we'll see. Oh, I actually thought I'd wasted that, because I thought that guy died, but, because I had a bunch of teammates right there, but they actually hadn't got him. Oh well. I think I'd be better off doing a critique style video than trying to talk through an actual blast game like this, but, uh, oh well. Thanks for watching, guys.